Hello, retro loving friendos. Welcome to Platform 32. I am back with a bit more Evercade this week. Um, you might not have known or heard that I had an Evercade, but um, I do. And I figured because I got an Evercade, I thought I might as well show it off and uh, <clears throat> do a little stream for you all and, and, and show you some of the games. I actually have done a few Evercade streams before. Uh, you can find them in the previous streams of this channel, in which I've done a variety of carts. Uh, but this week, I'm going to dedicate to my two newest carts, which I haven't um, I haven't actually uh, played yet. This is... Uh, hold on a minute. How dirty is my room? Not very dirty. Will this work? Here you go. Oh, that's still back to the front as well. Uh, uh, properties... Uh, no, cancel, uh, tra transform, flip horizontal, there you go. So I am doing today Interplay Collection 1 and 2, which I managed to grab thanks to um, a couple of super chats um, uh, around, my, around about my birthday. Uh, so I picked up these two. These are carts number 4 and 7. And they include a collection of 8-bit and 16-bit games from the, de the developer Interplay. Games such as Earthworm Jim. Um, and uh, the six, or well, the five others on this one, which are Clay Fighter, Battle Chess, Titan, Incantation, and Booger Man. I've played uh, Earthworm Jim a few times. I've even streamed bits of it on this channel before. So I might not do Earthworm Jim. The other cart here has Earthworm Jim 2 on, which I'm not sure I've ever played. So I'll definitely play Earthworm Jim 2. I'll probably skip Earthworm Jim. But I do have like two hours, um, or an hour and 45 at least, to play through some of these. As with all the um, Evercade carts, <coughs> uh, they come with a lovely, hold on, Let's do this again. Each one comes with a lovely manual. This is Interplay Collection 1's manual. And um, inside you get contents. You get a little bit of blurb about each game and uh, the controls and stuff. It's very good. It's very good. I miss manuals. I, I, I just... I I said this on the first Evercade stream I did, but I love how the the people who make Evercade have just bottled everything that makes retro games cool the carts the the collectible boxes the manuals that you can flick through and read all the controls for and stuff it's really cool so uh yeah on today's stream i'm going to be doing collection one and collection two of the interplay collection if you want to see some of the others i have done uh, multiple evercade streams some of them i featured way more than two carts in um but uh, these two are the ones I'm doing today. The Evercade is currently charging. As you can see, the little green power thing going. So I'm going to unplug the charging cable. I've got three bars. That'll be fine. It actually um, charges quite quickly, and the battery charge lasts for ages. It's never run out of batteries on me yet. So um, <clears throat> I'm happy about that. Welcome uh, all. Oh, we've got 69 people watching right now. 71. Oh, you two clear off. You just ruined it. No, not really. It was a previous nice, a nice for the past there. So people are coming in now, uh, coming in to check out the, uh, the retro goodness. So I won't last. I won't. Waffle on for a little bit longer, but I will say hello to Offworld Arbalist, Danny McMurray, Delhi's here, Dragon Brother, Gavin UK86, Georgina Herdman, Greg Vard, Jeff Farrell, Mew Cloud, Joaquin Velasquez, Kate Lilly, Kaushab Chowan, Lassus Linorn, Mark Russon, Milena Vinov, uh, Mr. Tom for the Win, Nightcat, Rocket Ships, Ajax, Stupid Twice, Spider Man 2099, uh, Vandalan, Who MD21. They are all in the chat. Uh, over on YouTube and on Twitch, we've got 10 people watching. We've got Nightcat Gaming, W Geezers, DDT83, um, and Goosebag, and Dragon Mother as well. So, hello to all of you. Uh, welcome to whichever platform you are, uh, whichever platform you're deciding to watch on. So, <clears throat> like I said, probably not going to do Earthworm Jim because I have Earthworm Jimmed before. But we've got here Clay Fighter, we've got Booger Man. We've got Battle Chess, we've got t 
Titan. I think I'm going to start with Incantation. I've never played Incantation, never played Titan, never played Battle Chess. Uh, I have played Boogerman ages ago. Um, I think it's like an Earthworm Jim style platformer. And I used to love Clay Fighter. I'm going to save Clay Fighter for last. It's probably way not as good as I remember. I still have the cart for the Super Nintendo up there somewhere. And maybe I even did it on a Super Nintendo stream back in the day. Who knows? But let's um, do some incantations anyway. The only platform here is 32, says Gavin. You're right. You are correct. Uh, hopefully the audio is okay. I can move it up. I can move it down. Let me know. I've currently got it on minus 16 dB. Maybe I'll put it up a little bit. I'll put it up to minus 13. It's normally on minus 13. Sometimes you're like, move it up. Move it back. <clears throat> we'll find out. So, we're going to have stereo. Ooh, a choice between... Oh, you can really tell the difference between mono and stereo sound. Wow. Such future. So futuristic. Mono and stereo. Crazy. Okay, stage one. Get ready. This little sprite's quite cute. Wielding that wand like a mace. Looks like he's got a blue arse on the end of a stick. A blue ass at the end of a dildo. Okay, so he can fire. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, controls wise it seems quite tight on the old uh, the old platforming. Everything is uh, nice and smooth. How do I open this this then? Not like that. Oh I just have to shoot it. So this game, let me just quickly check. I think this game is like a Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't give me the controls. <clears throat> uh, does it? No. It's a, th it's a three-button game by the looks of it, so this might be an old Mega Drive game that I've never heard of. It does look kind of Mega drive graphics-wise. Oh, hello. What the hell? I think I just shot something in the tree and it's put me into a, a bonus room. Oh, look at this. What happens if I get the mushroom? Is that... Does the mushroom do anything? Okay. okay, I'm taking a few hits from this weird goblin looking dude. Oh, I bet you bounce on the mushrooms, do you? No. How do I get them then? Maybe I have to... That's nothing. I don't know what this this move is. Oh, I've got a power up though. Oh look, there's more, more... What are these? Are they meant to be coins? They look like shields. I've been playing a bit too much Valheim. Everything looks like a wooden shield to me now. And that's going to send me back, is it? There we go. Sent me back. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Yeah, the wizard staff does look very suggestive. I should... Oh, no. I thought I could... Can I be cheeky and go back into the... I can. I uh, can't harvest it for loot, though. Those cheeky games programmers, they knew what they were doing. And I can't go past that way. Okay, let's... Um, come on. Wow. I just need to shoot it! There we go. Whee! Alright. Off we go. Back! To the future. So it's quite a nice, uh, nice chilled platformer, actually. It's not too intense. A lot of the old school platformers, they threw loads of shit at you and it could get a little bit aggravating. Hard to avoid enemies, but this one seems quite chill. Like, Earthworm Jim, I find, can get quite aggravating because it's just so much going on and it's hard to tell where you could jump and stuff, but this one's nice. It's easy to pass what's going on. Oh, did I just send myself... Wait, have I just teleported back on myself? How have I done that? Did I die? Maybe I died. I've gone back somehow. Felt like I'd um, gone through another bonus room. Quite generous collision detection here, which I'm a fan of. OK, 
Okay, what was it? What, what made me teleport? I think it was shooting this crystal ball up here. So I'm not going to do that again. I don't want to run all that way again. Okay, we're going to smash open this chest. Coins! Money! And some corn. Because everybody loves corn. Oh, especially this pig guy who wanted three corn to pass. Okay, fine. Wait a minute, did I just swap corn for loads of money? I'm, I'm happy with that. What the? Ooh, I think I've used my big stupid thumb to pause the game. Oh! He's... Vomiting his balls down at me. Two at a time as well. Keep your big purple balls away from me, you brute. Ow! It's when he gets too close here. Now it's hard to jump. Ah! Oh no. I need to move into the center. And then... Gives me a bit more opportunity to avoid his balls. Am I meant to be shooting him somewhere else? What does this do? Can I... Is that not... I don't know what that does. He's gonna... He's gonna end up killing me because... I don't know where to shoot him. Oh, I got him! Yeah, okay. I just, just generally shoot him anywhere. Ah! I murdered him and a door appeared. I'm hoping that's what happens when I die. A door to another, like, realm appears. Okay, stage two, get ready. It looks like you can go backwards on yourself. Classic. Classic. Why, why can't I get that? What's up with this chest, then? Whoa, oh! Okay, it's... It's a weird springy chest. What, why did that go green, then? The world went entirely green. Oh. Ow! Okay, these... Well, they do die in the end. So I guess maybe I have to find three corn per level. Oh, what is this? Is this like have I got homing things now? Do you reckon that's some inv that's some hardcore environmental signposting actually? Literal environmental signposting. Uh, is it? What is it? It is. I think it is homing stuff. So what's this blue thing here? Is that also the same thing? Let's pick it up and find out. I think it's the same weapon. Oh no. Oh, damn. Kind of wanted the... Oh! Oh. Kind of wanted the homing balls. Doodle -doodle -doodle -doodle. Right, we'll have one more one more mission and I'll try it a different game. So let's go through the middle way this time. Just... Oh, there's nothing. Nothing in the middle way. All right, fine. Fine. You be like that. Oh, there's a... Hello? What did I shoot then? Something I shot. Oh, oh, it's that. Okay, so I think I, I have to go to the left and up. It's not just an old video game cliche of going to the left to find a secret. I think you actually don't have to go this way. Um, Kate Lily's saying, is there a buffer? Apologies if there is, a, if you are seeing a buffer. Um, it looks fine my end. Uh, Hockey Rup and Nightcat think it's okay. The reason I'm a little, the only reason I'm bringing it up is because uh, this is the first platform 32 stream where I've tried to stream in 60 frames per second. Uh, I don't know whether or not my internet can handle it, but I thought, you know what? Get with the times, old man Higton. See if you can do some 60 frames per second. And it's, at the moment, it seems to be holding up all right. Like, it's holding up better than my internet did the other week when, like, was it last week when there was, like, weird... My internet decided to just shut itself down for a bit. And then I was online and streaming, but not online and streaming, according to all my stuff. So, yeah. not So, yeah, 60 frames per second. I don't really see too much, like I don't have any issue with streaming in 30 frames per second or watching things in 30 frames per second, but hey, if I can do it with 60 frames per second, it makes 
games look a little bit better, then why the fuck not? But if it starts getting a bit too uh, choppy, let me know and I will, um, next stream I'll go back to 30 frames per second. Looks good for 1080, 60 for me. Might try sticking GPU watch on my phone since hockey rub. Ooh. Oh, this, yeah, the little sprite does look a little bit like the Magic Pocket sprite. You're right, yeah. This is quite, uh, this is quite a nice little platformer. Quite inoffensive. This is definitely the sort of uh, game I would have um, absolutely rinsed when I was a kid. It's not, I don't, I don't think it's the sort of game I, I would necessarily play a load of off stream now, but it's it works well. It's not like frustratingly hard. There are some challenges in here. I like the different kinds of weapons and things. It looks looks pretty. The music's a bit crap. Oh, I need to find one more corn. Oh shit, I fell down a hole. Doesn't matter. I'll try a different game anyway. Uh, I have been playing the Evercade off stream recently. I have a little go every night. Um, I've been trying out different games I haven't played, and I've recently been playing a game, what's it called? It's on the Pico collection, and it's called Canon Legend of the New Gods. And I was like, oh, I'll give it a go. It's like a Taiwanese RPG from the 90s. And it's uh, quite basic, and the combat is almost turn-based. It's It's a step between turn-based and uh, and fully action-packed. But anyway, like I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this. It's going to be shit. And then I've been playing loads of it. Um, so, yeah, canon, le canon Legends of the, of the Gods, of the New Gods on the Pico Collection. It's been the one I the one I didn't think I'd play, but have been playing the most of. And, and then I keep dipping into Tanza and Xeno Crisis still. Uh, first 60 frames per second stream plays retro games says Goosebag. I know I didn't want to um I didn't want to do it on a stream where uh like there's a lot of processing power like a PC game or something like that. I just wanted to do nice and gentle. Nice and gentle to start with. Uh, Stephen Bell says, Evening, well, I'm very tempted to get one. I started playing on my Vita last night after well over a year. It's still a superb console. Yeah, I do love um I love my Vita. And uh uh I really like this as well. It's got like I feel like as the numbers get higher on these carts, the selection of the games get better. The earlier ones, especially the Atari ones, are definitely like get them to oh this is a bit louder. Get them to fill up your collection, but maybe they're a little bit um, one go and you'll never play him again. But in general, yeah, I really like him. I, really, I, I think it's worth it. And it's kind of, it's not that expensive really for a handheld console. I, I I hope they keep bringing out more like Amiga style games. The Codemasters one coming up looks awesome. I think, I don't know whether they're the Mega Drive versions of things or not. But uh, yeah, it some of the some of the carts as well are quite weirdly curated. You get like a a very weird mixture of games. I kind of maybe like in a way I'd kind of prefer like genreed ones, maybe ones that are just fighting games, ones that are just RPGs. But like you have kind of like a, a random fighting game, and then like two platformers, and then like a two puzzle games. I don't know. I just, I, I'm just brain farting. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about the Codemasters ones, as you've probably guessed. Okay, so I've never played this game before. Actually, I was going to say, I don't know what to do, but this is where I can turn to the manual. Titan. Surviving the mazes of Titan takes skill and quick reflexes as the game board con shifts continuously. Classic arcade gaming with excellent pixel art and techno tunes. Titan lives up to its sci-fi bearing and stays true to its classic roots. Well, it didn't really tell me anything there about how to play it, but we'll work it out. Yeah, a bit like Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's, it's the canon game. 
Alrighty, so here we go. Boing, boing. Let's find out how to play Titan. Ooh. I'm not doing anything yet. Oh, I can move that. Oh, oh, it's like Breakout maybe, but... It's like Breakout, but not. Okay, so you have to smash all the blocks. Cool. Your password, J1888184. Remember that, everyone, because I may have trouble getting past level one ever and again. What do you reckon this is? An NES? Maybe an NES or a Master System game, maybe? Okay, so this is just quite, like, uh, at the moment, quite a chill, like, almost breakout clone. Nice little twist is that you get to move the, the, the bat, I guess, around everywhere and, like, kind of aim your balls. It's not done against the time limit or anything, so there's got to be something that makes this perilous at some point. So maybe monst maybe enemies are thrown in, or maybe like maybe there'll be edges to the map at some point. At the moment, it, there's no challenge at all, apart from just like where I put my balls. This must be one of the earliest interplay games. I think it said, was it 1988? Mark Russell reckons it's a Master System game. Reminds me of Arkanoid. Yeah, Arkanoid. Um, Arkanoid's the, the ZX Spectrum Hit Squad version of Breakout that I played when I was a wee nipper. <laughs> you get there in the end. I want to at least... Like, if this is the entire game, it's not that exciting. So I'm hoping there's, like, at least some kind of... Uh, like, hostile element. A hostile elephant that may... give me a little bit more challenge than just the challenge of my patience which is happening at the moment Ooh. this last one's going to be a bugger isn't it oh shite I keep <laughs> just go down no I've knocked it away there we go there we go okay come on are we going to have any kind of threat this time your password no one's going to need that password. No one's ever in the history of this game, Titan, no one is ever going to have needed to type in that password. Oh. I need to... Go. I guess maybe... No, no. No one's ever going to have... No. Never. <laughs> I refuse to believe it. Oh, okay. What the... Oh, something's different. Ooh, Okay. Now I can break the things. Ha ha, ball. The power is now mine. So that's going to now bounce around in here. Oh, look at that. Made short work of that. Let's try and make a smaller hole. If I can make a smaller hole, then when I finally get the ball to go through it, it's less likely to pop straight back out again. But obviously it's going to be harder to uh, insert the ball in the hole. Be like getting a talk in a bath. Mm, pop. No. Fine. Is it just... It's just squares all the way, isn't it? Yeah. Hold on a minute. Is that a port? Okay, what have I done? What's that do? Does that do anything? Select button. Oh, it shows you where the ball is. So what I want to do is I want to quit the game and I want to go on Google and I want to go Google Titan 1988 Passwords. See if I can see what a later level is like. No. Ti Titan 
into play. I'm trying. It's trying to give me, trying to show me how to hack Titan security keys here. Titan into play. What about? Okay, maybe not. What about level codes? Uh, wow, okay, GameFAX has uh, um, a cheats page for Interplay Collection 1. It has codes for Boogerman, for Clay Fighter, for Earthworm Jim. F does it have... Is this it? This might... I think this might be it. Okay, I think this might be the codes for Titan. Spoilers! If you don't want to see, sp if you don't want to see Titan's last level, then um, look away now. Oh, maybe Titus is the company name before it became Interplay or something. Okay, original. Continue. Here we go. Right, the password is Jolly Music. Nine. Nine J zero. J zero. Nine J zero. Eight PC. Eight P see this is the most annoying code entry screen I've ever seen because it keeps like removing the letters <laughs> I'm like what letter is it under there 9pt b0 wait is that an o? I think it's b0 b0 now what enter how do I enter start oh shit son Oh, wait, have I just... Oh, that was the... Oh, fa well, that was the code for the ending of the game. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. So, if at any time in 1988 you wanted to just go back and watch the end and check out the credits, programmed by... Shinohara. Takahashi and Saito Ichishita. That's an unfortunate surname. Okay. Well, no, I, I wanted to play the final level, not watch the, the 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 credits. So we'll do the code before that. <laughs> GG answers EA122. Did I say Happy Lunar New Year to everyone yet? Happy Lunar New Year if I haven't done already. It's the year of the ox now. I think it was, was it the year of the rat last year? The year of the rat sucked if it was. Okay. Ian's first 4K stream, he'll break out the Amiga. Wow. DCC is 0209. I definitely will. Right. Titan Pro Gamer confirmed, says DCC. Yes, indeed. Okay, right. Original. Continue. Now to put in the code again. Right. JJJJR. So it's three J's and an R. One, two, wait, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, I was there. Ah. Oh. Six C U zero. Six C U zero. Level eighty. Here we go. Now let's see. What treats the final level of Titan has in store for us? What? Are these baddies? I think they might be baddies. I'm going to get to...
Wait, if the ball hits one, you die. Oh my, wow. Yeah, if the ball... Wow. Okay. Now that's just... Yeah, so if you hit it, you die. And if the ball hits one, you die. Wow. That's just... Oh, fuck. Wow, okay, that's... Yeah. No wonder you have a passcode for the... um. For the end credits, so you can prove to your friends that you've you took the three lives and it's game over. You got insta. Holy shit! Yeah, all right. I take it back. I'm sorry for laughing about having a passcode for the ending. If you can get past that, you you want to enter that code and show off to all your friends that you did it because wowzers, that's tough. All right. Okay. Titan, not really my type of game, but never mind. How about Battle Chess from uh, 1988? <laughs> Let's give it a go. I know there's some fans of Battle Chess. I saw people going, ooh, Battle Chess in the comments. Battle Chess. <clears throat> okay, I've forgotten how to play chess. How I've forgotten how to... There we go. How do you... Okay, there you go. It's been a while since... Oh, he's having a think. Yeah. Dickhead. Oh, no, I can't get this one. What? How do you take him? Is it sideways? Why can he go up forwards twice and I can't? Why can I only go forwards once? What? He's going to take me now, right? Bastard. Well, maybe not. Oh, oh, no, yeah, he is. I thought maybe I'd get to fight, but no, he just... He's, he's, oh, my God, he stamped on my turn and stabbed me in the eyes. A massive prick. So how come he could move forwards twice and I couldn't then? Can I not sideways move him now? Okay. Fine. I don't remember the last time I played chess, but I definitely was... ...younger than what I am now. So, select, and then... Chess him! Why can't I do a chess on him? Pawns on the second. You take diagonally with the pawn. Well, I don't bloody know. <laughs> wow. Guess he's bad at chess. This guy. Why can't I move anywhere? Is it because I'm... Is it because I'm check... Have they got me in check? Is that why? It just gets angry. It's just getting angry at me. Oh. Let's move the king up. I don't remember the... Drafts. Tiddly winks, chess. Can't remember. Literally every other version of Battle Chess is better than the NES version. Says uh, Mr. Tom for the win. Oh no, the wizard bonked my ruler. Oh. Perp <laughs> yeek! Quite like the little, uh, the silly little an animations, but... Right, here we go, look. You killed my husband, you fuck! Oh, wait, no, I killed the queen! Oh, shit, whoops. You killed the queen, you prick! Have a gun! Uh. 
Wow, I shot him in the face. Okay. Do you want to move any faster? Holy shit. Fucking hell. Can I take him? I can take him now. It must have been because um, I was in checkity check. Checkity check, mate. Kiss my ass! Bash him on the toe. Those animations are going to get pretty boring after, like, watching them multiple times. Is he going to take my pawn? You leave my pawn alone. Paid good money for that pawn. Found it in a bush. Right, what's this guy? How's this guy going to kill someone? Oh, nice block. Oh, good block. Oh, nice. He's going to win. My little pawn's going to win. He's really doing it. Oh. He didn't do it. Can I just... Who can who can murder this guy? Which one's go triangle? These ones triangle. Diagonal. Ah, oh, what? Quick king, leg it. Where can you go? Can you move backwards? Can you move forwards? Can you move sideways? Can you move here? Can you move behind him? Fuck! <laughs> I'm bad at chess. Someone eat this guy. Someone eat this prick. Eat this prick. Dude, eat, the, eat him. Okay, you're an L shape. They do L shapes. King only moves one at a time, says Kate Lily. Oh, wow, lazy. Thumbs up for the 58 wasted frames per second, says Nightcat. Listen, I told you I wanted to start off gently. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Maybe 60 frames, maybe testing my 60 frames per second capabilities on a live stream. Should have been done on a stream where the game's actually running 60 frames per second. They're very polite, moving out of the way for one another, aren't they? Holy fuck, this game is so slow. It's like I already know that it's taken it. Can I skip it? No, you have to watch the animation each time. There's no way to skip the animations. Is he... He bonked him on the foot and then the head. Oh! Wow, this is... I wanted to start off gently. Hunger, says Kate Lily. Oh, hunger. Right, so he's in position to nobble my king now. Maybe I can... Yeah, don't you fucking eat my king, dickhead. Look, check me out. Ooh, uh, who are you? You're a dead knight. That's who you are. I think you can fight me. I kicked him in the nutsack. Uh, oh, right, can I? Where you go? These guys, these ones can go like diagonal all the time, right? Here you go. I'm going to do my own King Pounce maneuver. Check me out. Woot woot! Oh, you've gone to unblock me, haven't you? Dang it. Uh, what's this one do? Straight up? Is it straight lines for this one? Ooh, it's... Ooh, it's... Ooh. Oh my, it's turned into the thing from the Fantastic Four with clogs on.
Newton says this is painful to watch. Listen. I don't I'm, I don't chess. Who do you think I am? The chess TV lady? No. <laughs> I can't even remember what that TV show is called. Uh, it's fine. Shall I move on to something else? Actually, let's let the computer win. Let's see what happens when, when it wins. So the king can only move one at a time, huh? Let's see what he does. I've confused it. Okay, I'm going to make this easy for you, buddy. Oh. Well, I can't move in diagonals. And I move that way. I should have moved upwards. Well, I hope... Mm. Yeah, now, you, now what are you going to do? Oh. Hello there, Queen. How's about you uh, sack off that ginger-bearded fool up there and come and rule with me? I'm in... I'm in need of a new queen, you know. Okay, well, I don't know why I can go this way, but no other ways. Maybe it's trying to stop me from dying so early. <laughs> Thanks, Nightcap. Uh, lol. Right. Oh, I wasn't paying attention there. I was looking at the excellent m modding. Honestly. I don't know why you bother. If you come in here acting like a dickhead, go have a nightcap and I'll just grab you by the seat of your pants and yoink you out of the... Can, uh... Wait, did I just win a battle without even trying? Uh, just yoink you out the window. And then you'll never be able to join in with the lovely antics. And then, then what will your life be? Just be, just be boring. Thanks for super chat. Some guy sitting down and says, maybe you can put this towards chess lessons. Ah, that's fine. Other people could play chess better than me. I'm not that bothered. Oh, she is coming in for a smooch. Hey, baby. Oh, oh, oh. hey, baby. Oh, oh, what? Can I only move diagonals? Oh. What? Huh? Huh? Oh. How can I move? What kind of cra- Please! I must begin an extramarital affair with this hot red-headed queen! Now I'm running away! God damn it! Dun dun dun! I definitely just yoinks their pants, says Gavin. Yay, priest fights Rockman. Oh, oh my. That priest just electrocuted the shit out of that Rockman. Can't take the pawn. Queen would have him in I don't understand these bloody rules. Just eat my king! Why will no one eat my king? <laughs> Fuck it. All I wanted to do was see what happened when, they, when you lost. Can't even quit the game properly. There we go. That was battle chess. I don't think I'll be battle chess. <laughs> Alright, let's do clay fighter. I was going to leave it to the end, but... I like clay, clay fighter. Da, 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 da. Lovely mode seven interplay logo. Boom! Yeah. Da, da, da. Oh, my cake, Lily. Right. Ian is very bad at losing at chess, says Danny McMahon. I know, right? That's why I would have been the best at chess. So terrible at losing. Clay Fighter! Yeah! Oh my god, this brings back so many memories, this intro screen and this music. Hmm. 
Oh man, Super Nintendo music. Well, I've just teleported back to the 90s in my brain. <laughs> right. I know that the, the, this guy here, like Taffy, I think he's called. That's Ichibod Clay, I think. I can't remember the names of the other one. Clay Fighter, Clay Clay Fighter. Let's find out. Can't remember. Start game. Oh, hold on, options. Let's go easy. L Brutal Punch. Oh, we're using the. <gasps> I'm going to turn the game speed up a little bit. And we are using the shoulder buttons as well. Start game. Bum -ba -dum. This and Ram Mahal for my SNES Fighter Jam, says Benedict. Oh, man, I loved the uh, Ranma manga and anime, but I never had the Ranma fighting game. I always wanted it, but never had it. Bad Mr. Frosty, Taffy, Tiny, The Blob is the one I used to like playing. There's Blue Suede Goo, that's it. Keyboard play. Helga. Bonker. I'll be um, The Blob, and I'll see whether or not any muscle memory comes back from any of the moves. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow, this... Yeah, God. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, ah, nostalgia. Is Helga. How do I? I used to like turning into the chainsaw. Uh, the saw blade, even. I, I don't know how to do any special moves at the moment. Is it going to tell me if I pause? No. What about if I? No. Oh, there we go. I did it somehow. Oh, no, you cut me in half. Yeah! It's back forwards. Was it? How did I do it now? <laughs> oh, bollocks! Helga cheated! I was trying to work out my special moves. Kenneth Donnelly says, should I buy this tomorrow? I mean... I've already bought it. And I think it's pretty good, so yeah. It's up to you what you spend your money on, but, uh, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. KO. Is, can you do a KO move? I can't remember. <gasps> do you know what I could do? I'm gonna go Meta Retro. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna get Meta Retro after I've torn my eardrums. Ow! Oh, fuck! I could rip my face off by standing on my headphone cables. Oh dear. If anyone ever wonders what it's like. If you've ever sat there and gone, I wonder what it's like to be Ian. It's, it's painful. That's what it's like to be me. Uh, when I said Meta Retro, I'm getting my actual childhood clay fighter box out to see if it's got any special moves written in there. <gasps> rock and roll racing. I loved rock and roll racing. I was in Total Nintendo magazine um, for um, some rock and roll racing codes that I sent in. Everyone's laughing at my misfortune now. How could you? Uh, what's uh, Canton says the Bundo Nargos has this collection and the Namco One collection. Hold on, Kenneth Donnelly. Do I have that one? I think I do. Namco Museum Collection One. So Namco Museum Collection One is um, number two, and it's one of the older ones. So the quality of the games on there aren't brilliant. But if you really like old school retro games, it's got um, Pac-Man and Galaxian in there and Dig Dug, Xevious. They're all like, it's got a bunch of like proper classic ones in there. 
Um, this one, this collection is definitely better than this one, but you get like 11 games in, in this one. But the Argos collection one, uh, it's good value. It's good value. What was it, like 70 quid for the console and two carts? And then, you know, save up your pocket money. You can get a cart every month. You've got something to look forward to every month. So, uh, I'd say, yeah, grab it. I'd say, yes, get it. And, uh, you know. Then you can uh, you can relive your retro nostalgia like I'm doing now. But this time, okay, here we go. Controlling your clay fighter. Clay fighter. For, oh, look. Right, hold on. Oh, fuck. Clicking the wrong button. I put my Evercade on my mouse and it's clicking all my buttons. Look at this clay fighter manual. It's got like little drawings in it. Look at remember manuals. Remember paint. Remember paper. You go. You can do throws. Just showing you. Look throws. Like a words. Special moves. Stop do. An example of the special moves is Mr. Frosty's aerial snowball. To do this, charge down for two seconds, then press up with a kick. Is it going to show? There's a lot of pages in here. Ah, here we go. Taffy likes candy, hates dentists, wants candy. Job candy man. And his motto is... I don't know if you can see that. His motto is stretch. What a weird motto. Where's my claimants? Here we go. Blob. Likes clay, hates hair, wants clay. Job clay maker. Motto bounce. Uh, down, blob will jump, clay stomp. I've done that one. This doesn't really, it doesn't really tell you the special moves at all. It's just told me how to turn into a shoe twice, but not how to turn into a saw. It's all I wanted. Right. There we go. <laughs> mm. I'm just going to have to smash Fook out of her normal weight. Oh. Oh. Oops. Yeah, screw you, Helga. Yeah, I have a ring light on this camera, but not that camera, Kate. Okay, uh, like turning into a shoe isn't even like a special move, as far as I'm concerned. It, well, that was a nice little slide, though. Boxing glove. I think I just spat some clay somehow. Yeah, there you go. How did I do that? I just. Just mashing things. Just mashing things. There we go. I won. I turned into a trophy. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, Ichabod Clay. Does this thing have Manic Minus as Epsilon Indie? No. Um, I would love this to like have a, a big old ZX Spectrum collection on it. But again, because it's like, you know, these are proper physical carts and stuff. They're going to have to license the games. And I think, especially with Spectrum games, there's a lot of trouble around licenses and things and who owns what. Oh, I did it. Um, like a Spectrum would be awesome. You could fit like hundreds of Spectrum games in there. But you'd have to be careful as well which ones you put in there. You could only put ones that add up to six buttons in. You couldn't really put any text adventures in there or anything. Well, I won against Ichabod Clay by just, like, spamming buttons. This is, like, crazy nostalgia for me. Me and my brother used to play this. Sat up in my dad's house, up in our bedroom, on a bunk bed. My brother sat on the bottom, me on the top, playing on a tiny, crappy, red 4x3 TV. And we just played this for hours, and we were well good at it. Like, 
young me could whoop the fuck out of me on this game right now. I'm terrible, but I'm definitely going to be coming back to this one after the stream to, to play more. Uh, is there a way to quit? But I think I'd have to quit the entire game. Just wanted to... What, what, how long have I got? Mm. All right, I'll move on. I'll move on. I'll check out Boogerman for a bit, and then we'll go on to Interplay Collection 2, because this is only Interplay Collection 1. We've got another whole collection to check out, and time, uh, it, it seems, is flying. Boogerman, a pick-and-flick adventure. I mean, that's some awesome... Uh, very well animated. It's a dark and stormy night at Professor Stinkbaum's lab where a machine has been built to save the world from pollution by transexisting it to dimension excrement. Eccentric millionaire Snotty Ragsdale has a job at the lab to investigate taken a job at the lab to investigate safety and find out exactly where where the pollution is going. He has a bad feeling about this latest contraption. This night his suspicions will come true. Oh, I'd love it if Uni Racers got a look in gas shop. I have I have uh, Uni Racers up there. Big fan of Uni Racers. I love the animation on this. This is really great. Like a kind of almost like LucasArtsy animation. Boogerman was a more innocent time, says Gragfar. Okay, so my main attack is to pick my nose and flick it. And when I kill people, <laughs> there are fart noises. Brilliant! I don't know why I didn't have this game when I was younger. This is a very Ian game. I love his uh, his his camp jump. Oh yeah! Look at me, I'm Boogerman. What is that? Is that like some gore? The trees are pretty creepy. Is that a zit on the floor? Can I do anything? I can pop the zits by jumping on them. It seems. Do I get? What happened? What? Do I get points? Do I get points for popping the floor zits? Uh, oh god. It's, it's fart and bogey jokes. Amazing. Why the hell didn't I play this when I was younger? I mean, why the hell haven't I played it now? This is 100% uh, Higton humour right now. What's this? Is this a... It's got an R power roll on it. I was hoping it would... Oh? Oh, look at me. Ah! Brilliant. Oh, I've got a gas meter up the top. How do I... I've run out of buttons to... What the? Booger! There's just a, a button. One button. Just makes him say, Booger! Amazing. It's like a taunt button. But it's not really taunt. Okay, I have no idea how you go... You go up on the toilet. So I'm going to go back and try and navigate my way tree ways. This is like a um, Tanglewood, but snottier. <laughs> I burped that guy to death. Doctor, please come quickly. My husband. He has been burped on to death. Okay, now it's a... Oh, let's see. I pressed down on that and I went down it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I couldn't... It was uh That was an exit. That was a snotty exit. With the up arrow. So that's just where... I, that's going to be where I come out, isn't it? I'm going to come out of that one after being in this... This sewer-based bonus level. This is nice. It's very colourful. This is even more colourful than most Terraflops games I play. Ah, jumping. I want to jump that way. There we go. Duck that. Hold, oh, hold on. I'm digging through the piles of crap and I found a... Is that a carrot or a chilli? That doesn't do anything. Can I eat it somehow? Those buttons look up. I want to I I know why I've got a carrot or a chilli. Oh, my. Oh, my. 
That's like the ones I do after a night on the um, on the Gandhi's Revenge. This is definitely one for PSVR, says Jim Rastel. Oh, definitely. Gavin says, I'm eating my tea while watching this. It's making me feel a little queasy, lol. You just sold 54 more Evercades with one press of the fart button, says Mark Russon. I know, right? They should have me on commission. They don't have me on commission. But the PR um, guy from Evercade has been in touch. So, um, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get some early access to some of the upcoming um, Evercade carts so I can do some preview streams and things. Look at him. All right, well, I don't want to ruin Gavin's tea anymore, but it's safe to say I'm going to work out how to play this more and then come back to this because this is, this is actually like... I like it. It looks looks really good like it's so much animation it's got a great amount of animation it's got a very uh teenage -y and sense of humor uh, and i'm just interested to see what else what other silly things uh, the, the game do. i mean this is like a weird snail with legs with a this shell is a nose uh, i don't know what they are They're like tasmanian devils that's a I've just found a secret poo room. Uh, is that is just lets me out? I'll get to the end of the level. The end of the level is a nose. Yes, the end, oh no, the end of the level isn't a nose. But I just like s got sucked up the nose and deposited the other side of the wall. I'm just running right through now. I just want to see what happens at the end of the level. Perp. It just fades to just fades to black. And then you get a bonus screen. So that is Boogerman. Uh, this is Ian the video game, isn't it? It says Dragon Botherer. I think it might be, yeah. So, Boogerman was... Boogerman seems great. Clay Fighter, absolute classic. Earthworm Jim, a classic, but I've played it a lot. Uh, so I'm skipping that one. Really liked Incantation. Um, maybe a, more of a younger person's platformer, but it looks really pretty. Titan, I'm never gonna, never gonna play it again. Battle Chess, I'm never gonna play it again. So four out of four out of six there, pretty good. Quite a decent cart. I'll definitely be coming back to that cart. But now, that was uh, that was Evercade Collection One. Now to move on to Evercade Collection Two. I'm not gonna do Earthworm Jim, Kenneth Donnelly, because I've streamed Earthworm Jim on this channel before. Instead, we're going to move on to Evercade Collection. Uh, um, oh, fuck, I just turned it off. Interplay Collection 2, which has Earthworm Jim 2 on it, which I have never played. So, uh, yeah. Is it gonna, yeah, here we go, it's loading up. There we go, whoops channel changed because it thought there was no signal because I turned the bloody thing off. So this one again comes with six games. The last one came with six games. This one came with six games. This has Clay Fighter 2 Judgment Clay. Big fan of puns as you all know. So uh, Judgment Clay. Good name. I don't know if I didn't own Clay Fighter 2 Judgment Clay. I feel like I have played it though. So maybe I played it around a friend's house. Not sure. Claymates are uh, never played, but it looks like it's the same kind of um, clay-based scanning in of photos and using that for the animation. Earthworm Jim 2 have never played. Prehistoric Man, I think I played in the arcades. Rad Gravity. Um, that's an NES game, isn't it? And I've... Have I played it? It's quite a famous one. Maybe that's... I don't think I have played it, but I... Because it's like so famous. I know about it. I've not played the Brainies either. So this will be an interesting one. Let's go Let's go in year order. So let's go Rad Gravity. 1990 first. What's the best? Ah, my Evercade will be ready for pickup from Argos tomorrow. What a twi twist this week has taken to Spiffy Mark. 
Fuck, this is loud. Uh, what's the best... Hold on. What's the best Amazon Evercade bundle then, says Steve Bell. I will... Let me have a look for you. Uh, Amazon. Uh, Evercade. Bun let's talk Evercade bundle. Uh, Evercade premium pack number three has Namco, Int, Atari, and Interplay. So that's got Atari Collection 1, Namco Museum 1. Both of those are, that's carts 1 and 2, which aren't hugely great, but they're good for nostalgia. And then it's got Interplay Collection 1. That's like, what's that, 79 quid? That's not bad. Um, are there any other bundles? So that's the only Evercade bundle that came up with a console for me. I mean, 80 quid for those three. Is for the three carts and the consoles pretty good, I reckon. Um, and then it gives you a start to build your collection on. Oh, the starter pack is what I got for my birthday. That's sixty quid, and that's Evercade starter pack one uh, plus the one Namco Museum one. That's what I got for my birthday. So you could get that, and then a different Evercade cartridge instead and that would be only 75 quid so you'd only get two cartridges so it's like better value for money getting the other one but it's not as great carts i mean like you could get the oliver twins one with like a bunch of dizzy games on or you could get the one i play quite a lot the xeno crisis tanglewood one um so yeah I don't, I don't know. I'd probably say, you know, if you've got the spare cash lying around, I'd say go for the three pack. If you're, if you're planning on doing what I'm doing and you want to collect them all because you're a big nostalgia nerd, um, I'd say get the, the Evercade Premium three pack on Amazon and then save up your pocket money and get a cart every week or something. That's what I'd do. Uh, uh, coming up, uh, so the, there are two coming out this month, um, Ben. The Oliver Watt Twins one is already out. The one's coming out in, I think the next one's come out in April. And I think that's the J, Jal, Jalico, Jalco? I don't know how you pronounce that. And the Atari Lynx, no. Maybe it's the Ind Evercade Indie Retro Heroes. There are two coming out in April, I think, and then April the 1st is Jail Co. Collection 1. Indie Heroes and Codemasters, I think, is, or Worms is May. Basically, there's a bunch coming out all around different times. But the Worms car isn't out yet. <clears throat> Steve Bell's going to go for the premium. Oh, nice. Oh, the one in Argos is the premium three packs, as Kenneth Donnelly. Oh, cool. Yeah. 98 euros, so around 70 pounds. Yeah, that's the one, Kenneth Donnelly. Get that. Great starter pack. Uh, if you want to hook it up to a TV, um, I did post a link earlier to a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. I got this one because it's red <laughs> and the, the connectors are gold and it was like seven quid. It's working fine, as you can see. You can see the game. The game's, like, the, the, the screen's great, but uh, the game's look really nice on a big TV. It upscales it really nicely. Okay, let's try some red graphics. Let's play some games. I've helped you shopping. Let's play a few more games. And, yes. It's just, it's nice, because I miss collecting things. Hello, Red Gravity. It looks, this reminds me a little bit of Flight of the Navigator. I wonder if it was inspired by... Yeah, I, I miss collecting stuff after I finished my Spectrum collection. So I got I got bitten by the bug collecting these things. Uh, ha, ba, 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 ba. Didn't read. NES. Oh, lovely NES days. Strong chin. 
Fart noise, fart noise, open door. Are you on commission? This is one of 64 bits. No, I said earlier I'm not, unfortunately, not on commission. They getting this they getting these sales for free. Is this game too loud? It's really loud in my ears. I turned it down a bit. Um I don't know why I never played this. It seems like a pretty cool uh, pretty cool platformer though. Shank people. I was a huge fan of platformers and now on the NES, so it's weird that I never played this. Seems pretty decent though. Controls are tight. It's got some really good looking like little levels. Once I get the hang of dodging the Throwing knives and shanking them up. I'll be flying on this one. I, I quite like this. Music's loud as fuck, though. It is pretty loud. Okay. How's that? That will have lowered the noise. For you, but it's still loud as fuck for me. This is the cyberpunk we should have got. Look at those neon signs. I got just running around with nunchuckers. Nunchucku. Nunchucks. Oh, I got murdered. Oh, Red Gravity's pretty cool. I'm going to play that um, in my own time, though, because it's fucking loud. <laughs> that was, like, legit hurting my ears. It was so loud. <clears throat> uh, was this NES sprites look detailed, says Dave Gorman. You could have detailed sprites on the NES, but let's double check Red Gravity. I'm pretty sure, but I have been known to make many, many a mistake in my life. The Adventures of Red Gravity. Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes, I was correct. I thought so. I doubt myself a lot. People say, Ian, why do you doubt yourself so much? And I say, it's because I'm a failure. That's fine. I've, I'm i very good at failing upwards, it seems. Um, okay, right. We were going to go in date order, so we'll go Claymates. Plot twist, Ian is actually the CEO of Evocators, DCC0209. I am not. Unfortunately, I am not. But I would love to be. I'd quite, that's quite, this is, that's what I need to do. When I get fired from Eurogame for gross misconduct, is start like a retro. I wouldn't have a clue how to do it, but. It is well, or a VR company. I'd probably, yeah, maybe a VR company that does retro game conversions. Oh, yeah. There we go, making the millions. Oh, that's gone loud again, hasn't it? Yeah, no. Unfortunately, not on commission. But as I said earlier, the PR for Evercade has been in touch with me, and uh, hopefully, I'll be getting early preview. Uh, so I'll be able to preview some of the carts earlier, like in some special like streams, so like review type streams. You see, <laughs> gross misconduct is Gavin. <laughs> oh, look at this. I don't care if I'm made of clay. I promise to rescue my father and the serum. Ah, oh, lovely clay. <laughs> wow, that went dark quick, says Gavin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, flower. Can I get a flower? No, I can't get a flower. Oh, what? Maybe I can. I seem to be a, a bald at fists. I think I might have seen one of them in a sex shop. So is this the loudness cart, says Nightcat? I think it might be. This has got a very pretty uh, soundtrack. What the hell are you supposed to do here? Is there anything? Any, so at the moment, all I can do is fist. <laughs> Which is uh, actually written on my CV. Ooh, I've gone down a swirly hole. Clayton's Yard. Okay. Oh, I've t oh, okay. So you pick up the different coloured clay, and then you turn into different coloured clay animal. Oh, this is quite cute. 
You know what the deal is with this purple box. I was just mashing the where the triangle button on the PlayStation would be for a second. I played too much. Um, Astro butt. Whoops. Oh, I popped. Oh, hello. This is quite a cheerful, cheerful platformer. Very much a um, one for the wee neppers, I think. Hello, someone's played Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, so if I pick up the ring, then it opens up that, and then what? What's that doing? Oh, yeah. God, this is the music that plays in my head when I'm trying to get to sleep. Hey, I'm a kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, I just farted myself through that. What has that done? What does fighting myself through that do? Wow, wow, wow. Well, I definitely need to read some more instructions. Ah, I eat my whirlwind. This game is just as bizarre as... as I kind of thought it would be. Maybe a little bit more bizarre. It's definitely louder than I thought it would be. Not one for the wee nipples, Kate Lily. The wee nippers. The little kitties. This game's quite nice. Oh, I see now. Top right hand corner, there's like a triangle, a square, and a, a circle. It's too intense. It's too intense. I'm going to um, turn the volume down on this here monitor quickly. That has, um, that has done a thing with audio. La la la, two seconds while I bring the volume down. And then lock that in, and then there. And hopefully it won't sound like I'm having to shout over um, a cl an orgy of clowns. Okay, so let's go for... Let's go Earthworm Jim 2. I've never played Earthworm Jim 2. Hello, Tawani, Nightcat's cat. You've switched it off yet, I can still hear the music, says Jim Rastel. Sorry. Now, talking about games with good animation, the Earthworm Jim games were... Uh, very well known for their uh, excellent animation, and in fact, even inspired an Earthworm Jim cartoon, which uh, I thought was really good back in the day. Quite funny. <laughs> well, I started on normal by accident, because I didn't know what any of the buttons did. Okay, here we go, first level. There he is, he looks like he needs a wee wee. There we go, running to the left. Can I get it? Right, you can... Oh, no, that's pause. There we go, let's whip it. Can I whip it? Hold on, did. I thought I whipped my life icon then and it went, ooh. Can you not whip upwards with your head when you... Why can't I get that extra life? Oh, damn it. I'm not going to bother, wait. Ah, is it that? Come on, give me that extra life somehow. Right, board. Okay, I killed that weird octopus thing. So this is what I mean about the like levels of Earthworm Jim being a bit more confusing to navigate than perhaps other ones. There's just so much crazy stuff going on. It's like a mixture of HR Giga... Ren and Stimpy and Jackson Pollock. Way cool. Way cool. Especially seeing as there's all these different like hidden little passages. Whoopee! Whoopee. Sound effects. Whoopee. Happy oinkers! This is pressed down. What am I doing? I'm wanking a pig off in a bath. What's happening? 
Am I hiding in there? What the hell? Oh, no, I'm out. Wait, what? I press down. This is... Oh, I've stolen a pig! <laughs> okay, this game's pretty great. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this pig, what I have stolen. I just went to a, a pig jacuzzi orgy, stole a pig, and now I'm running off with the pig to... Oh no, I put it on a pig shoot! Okay, do I get to ride the pig? In a different way to the way I rode it in the or pig orgy? Wait, I'll... Oh, no, no, no! Okay, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This game's... I love this game. Funky! Well, it's got mantling in it. This had mantling right from the start. I don't know why it took PUBG a year to put mantling in. Just fucking stair lift. Brilliant. Oh, I got a. Oh, shit! I hit a nana on my stair lift. Okay, we're going back up again. I like that there's drawers posters on the wall. Okay. I'm going to avoid the nanas in my stair lift. There we go. And then I can continue. All right, first impressions of this game is I like it more than Earthworm Jim 1. Earthworm Jim 1 had some good, good humor and stuff. How do I grab these things? Am I supposed to grab them? I need to read the buttons. Hey! Read the buttons! Wow! Okay, can I go up here? I feel like I want to go up here. Yeah, here we go. Oh. No. Oh. I'm teleported. Was that the end of the... Oh. It was the end of the level. Now I'm in a... A stair lift level again. Okay, I know what I'm doing this time, though. Now I know how to avoid the nanas. Ah, fuck! I, he says. While also not avoiding nanas. Back we go again. <laughs> Someone said, oh no, he's joined. Ah! Bullingdon Club. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Okay, come on. We can do it. Oh no, I pressed the wrong way again. This is not this. It's, it's not as hard as I'm making out. I'm just being an idiot. So we've got to go fast now. Just have to basically change the direction of the way I'm pushing my. Oh, you bastard! Pushing my D-pad. Depending on which way up the stairs you go. No, 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 no. Right, zoom, zoom. Slow, slow. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, slow, slow. Zoom, zoom. Slow, slow. Zoom, zoom. We made it! Yay! Who's killing all these grannies, says Nightcat? I know, right? Brutal granny murder. Okay, so this is back to that level I was on before, where I had an excellent time with some pigs in a jacuzzi. Wait, what's that button do? I think I might have just used a special or something by accident. What's this now? Is it... Can I go past here? I can't go past here, but there's an electric chair. I probably don't want to sit on an electric chair, do I? It's got a can of worms. Yeah, I like this game. This is good. I'm definitely going to play more of this. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, definitely needed to avoid the electric chair. Ooh, I've got homing missiles now. You snot swing. Well, I thought you'd never ask. Is snot swing like... No. What is this not? What is this not swing button? Maybe I have to unlock snot swing. I'm going under here. I've got some things. That's just rockets. I may have to. I... 
it's got a little uh, shieldy thing there. Oh, that was a like a not parachute. Oh, I got it. Okay, so looks like someone here has taken some inspiration from Booger Man. Because this worm now has snot powers as well as worm powers. Heavy pigs! I got another pig, mate. Oh, God. Okay, I put the pig on the. I need to get another. Do I need to get another heavy pig? Okay, I could do that. Get down! Get down! Okay, I got myself another heavy pig. Let's watch out for that angry goldfish. Okay. Shit! We're going. Speeding through. What is this here? Oh. Uh. My. Fight! We're gonna fight a goldfish. Okay, I won that fight. Whee! <laughs> well done. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, that's that's fucking fantastic. The side smile from that second cow. Amazing. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna save my state, and I'm gonna come back to that because I liked that. And we're gonna go because we're running out of time. I've waffled on far too much. Um, so the next game, if we're going in chronological order, would be Clay Fighter Two, Judgment Clay. Which I seem to remember playing, but I definitely didn't own, so I don't know where or when I played it. Or how I played it. Judgment Clay! Maybe I didn't even play it. Maybe I just read about it in the Super Nintendo magazine and just imagined I've played it. Back in the days before the internet, when all I had was magazines, I used to uh, stare like longingly at video games and imagine playing them. Goo Goo, Hoppy, Kangoo, Frosty Tiny, Blob. So they use at least, they've reused at least three of the characters then. Nana. Well, they, that one's like not, uh, I don't think that one's clay. I think that one's computer graphics. They cheaped out on that one. Octo looks quite cool. Goo Goo's weird, I don't like Goo Goo. Hoppy. Good. Let's go, let's go Octo. Well, that is the little clay models of the buildings. They should do Clay Fighter Remastered. Where, like, you just, like it's photorealistic. They, like, they, someone must have the original photo somewhere. Just scan them in. Remake, remake the game without the pixels. Just see what it looks like. It might be quite cool. It'd be like morph, double dragon, but with morph. <laughs> Has this guy got any like? Doesn't seem to have any projectile. Hold on. No, pause doesn't bring up any... Oh, I just got mashed. Blah! Nice flexing, Tiny. Thought it might bring up some moves. Why are there no moves lists in this game? Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo had move lists. Didn't it? I don't know, actually. Maybe it didn't. Oh. I pissed Tiny off. He's got well angry. Come here. Medicine ball! Medicine ball! Oh, he mullered me. Oh, no, I'm not dead yet. Oh, no, now I am. <laughs> yeah. That guy's terrible. Come back and I'll mold you a new face. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. I can try a different character. That was Goro's living room, according to Stephen Routes. Tournament options. What are the options? 
Ar Arena Cell. Mansec Rund. Manual Sequential Random. Arena Cell. Four going on. I don't want to be that weird banana, fuck it. Nanaman! Nanaman! Nana! Nana! <laughs> Nana! Oh my god. Nice comedy slide. Thing noises. <laughs> Slide whistle or whatever it is. Oh my god. This fucking rabbit's well oh, hates bananas. Bananas are basically just yellow carrots, you fucking big eared bastard. Oh, I did a special one. I don't know how I did it. So it's kind of mashing these buttons. There we go. Did it again. I don't know. Peel this, I think. Oh, whoops. I think he says peel this. Rabbit punch, flying kick, spinning carrot. Spinning carrot. Well, Hoppy is a bit of a beast. Oh, look at that. It's a sad face. Don't you like carrots? No. I guess he doesn't. Well. That is Clay Fighter 2. Seems pretty decent. It doesn't hold a place in my heart like Clay Fighter 1 does, to be honest. So I'm going to move on now to... We've done 90... We've done 1990. We've done 1995... We done 1994. This is on to 1996. What have we got? The Brainiacs or Prehistoric Man? Uh, let's try the Brain. Oh, the Brainies, not the Brainiacs. Wait, what? Oh, I thought we were doing the Brainiacs, not Samantha Fox Strip Poker. Oh, ha ha! Oh, ha ha! He was, he was just joking. He was holding up cards with little bits of ladies on. Okay, the Brainies. 1992 Titus. Catch or drop a Brainy, B or A. Moves the cursor or the Brainy. Okay. Which is between 2D and 3D view. Okay. Pulses the game. At least, see, at least this time it, we've got telling me what to do. I could just read the manual, the included manual. Can't bother at the moment. Increases cursor speed. Shows what's under the cursor. Simultaneously resets. Okay. Oh, that'll fucking do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. So we can switch between 2D and 3D. Ah, oh, yeah, it's like next gen has happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, wowzers. Okay, so what can I select? And then I can. Okay, that well, that was that didn't take much brainies for me. Hey, Ryan Duff, four seven one. He says, "How is everyone? Very good, thank you, Ryan Duff." Uh, let's go 3 Oh, yeah, look how 3D this is. So I guess I'm going to... Yellow one to yellow. Red to... Wait, what? Red to red. Oh, and it's timed, okay. Okay, I did it. Well... I don't know. Uh, okay, so. Oh, it's. 
it's like that, is it? I see. Oh, it's, it seems like a fairly cute-ish, well, like cute, I'd say, they, these things that they can rip your tits off. Um, fairly colourful, basic puzzle game. The time limit makes it quite tricky, though, and the controls are a little bit weird. It's something I might dig into at some point when I'm like, oh, what should I play? But there's definitely better games on this cart than the brainies. That's for sure. Here we go. It's, it's, it's better if you hit the button a bit harder. So you just basically move the brainies to the colours and then you're done. They look like edgy versions of the M&M's, says Alexander Hansen. They do. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So this one... It's just, yeah, it's just gonna be... Oh, these things... Oh. You can't stop them mid-move. It's like the ice-pushing block type thing as well. Okay, that's all right. It's all right for a puzzle game, but the th the I think it was kind of selling itself on the 3D view, and the 3D view went that nah, 3D really. I mean, maybe it was back in the day, but when I stick my face in um, Hitman's fucking VR game <laughs> like once a week, that 3D just doesn't cut it. Not now. I've put my face in the future. All right, the final game on this stream of the Evercade uh, Interplay Carts is Prehistoric Man. 1996 is Prehistoric Man, to be precise. Okay, game options. Let's have a look. Language English, skill normal. Audio, stereo, mono. Don't know if there's any difference. Do I have to move? Okay, so there's musics. Right, let's try Prehistoric Man. One night in heat prehistory. So, interplay. I don't know, uh, like, because I thought maybe the older ones were made by, like, Titus and the interplay. Titus became interplay, but this one was made by Titus. Is it 20? Alt F. Titus. Uh, okay, Interplay was continuing... Oh, Interplay was taking heavy losses under Brian Fargo due to increased competition. This forced Interplay to seek additional funding two years later with an investment from Titus Software. So Titus Interactive actually completed its acquisition of the majority of control of Interplay in 2001. So... This is the Interplay Collection. But, because Titus then bought in the majority of Interplay, their base... Hold on. I didn't read far enough. Then Titus went bust. Oh, this is complicated. It's complicated. It's can't, I can't get my head around it. Basically, Interplay came first. Titus, Titus bought Interplay. Then the part of Titus that bought Interplay went bust and... something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have time to read. So many SNES cavemen in clay games, says Benedict Tomiski uh, Bowen on... Um, uh, on Super Chat. I'm sorry for butchering your surname there. Uh, but there is, yeah, well, you know, SNES, uh, Caveman and Clay Games were the 90s Battle Royale games, Thomas. Okay, here we go. 
Prehistoric Man. Prehistoric Man? Not played this game before. Prehistoric Man. Or maybe I have in the arcades. I'm not. Th I might be thinking of Plock though. Not Plock. The other one with Caveman. I don't know. Sam, before we I've played a lot of video games. Sam, before we start our quest, I think we should... Sam's not a very caveman game. We will help you with uh, travel to... Uh, you had to run like a dog. Uh, left, right. Okay, I get... Wow. Really? If there's one thing I probably don't need, it's training on how to run left or right in a platform game. I like that you can jump on top of the... Hello, lad! Hey, doggy. Uh, we doing a PUBG tomorrow war zone? Says Des Randall. It'll probably be PUBG. I just, uh, I'm really tempted to delete Warzone. There's a huge update for Warzone that I can't install because I don't have enough room on my hard drive, and I'm just, I haven't played. Well, I just got a bit sick of it. It's like when, like, I got sick of PUBG for ages. Like, I don't think I touched it for like a year. And then when um, the console customs came back in, I got all keen for it again. So there'll be a point where I get like completely bored of um, of PUBG customs again, probably. I tell you what, I do want to do at some point now. Probably not this Friday, but at some point I want to do a, a Sausage Squad stream where we play um, Valheim because I've been playing it loads with Luke. And I know that Deli and PJ have uh, Valheim. I don't know how much they... I think PJ... Well, PJ played a bit of it last night with uh, me and Luke. I don't know if he's played any more since. I know Deli has a copy. It'd be quite cool to, like, do some, uh, do some adventuring with them. Wouldn't be as chaotic, I don't think, as the, the PUBG streams. Time to jump back into H1Z1, says Gavin. Honestly, I did jump back into H1Z1 uh, the other day. Uh, and I don't know if I said this on stream, but there were three people playing in total in fives game mode. And 10 to 15 people. I played about three single player matches and there was the lowest was 10, the highest was 15. It's, I don't really like the term dead game, but... That game is on its last legs in terms of player count. It really is. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think there's even much point going back to H1Z1 because, like, no fuckers playing it. It would make custom matches easy, to be fair, but... And they have brought back the old map. Oh. Oh, my. They don't have the, um... They don't have that new map, the really bad new map that with all the rip-off PUBG buildings that I basically stopped, which basically stopped me from playing the game altogether. Uh, Dougie says, Ian, have you played Vigor? It's more looting and PvP action for teams of three uh, and five and free to play. Uh, I have. I, well, I haven't played it for years. But I played it for a Eurogamer video when it first came out, and I wasn't that impressed. I don't know what it's like now, but when it first came out, it was um, Jankfest 32. That was before it even... I think maybe it came out first on Xbox? I don't remember. I might I might have another go at some point. Can I, do you think I'll be able to jump over this? Yikes. No. Uh, this platformer, by the way, I've got to gone off on one. I've been switching my brain off to play this one uh this seems fine this is a, a fine platformer i don't think it so far it hasn't done anything special that's made me think you know wow lol like booger man or earthworm jim 2 did this seems, seems all right it's playable is cuisine royale still simmering says botulin cuisine royale is still going cuisine royale um I only ever had lobbies of like 35 to 40 people. I think that was by design. And that is still going. I played that the other day, but it feels really rough. Like, I, it was probably always really rough. But compared to a lot of the stuff I've been playing recently, it's proper rough. 
quick question for the Battle Royale fans. I'm looking for something to play on PS4 with a mate of mine that I could get and thought I'd give one a go. What should I go with, says Ryan Duff. If you've got... So if you've got enough space on your PS4, the best one to go for for free... Well, well actually, Fortnite, probably. I've been playing a bit of Fortnite recently with friends and family off, off stream. Fortnite's free. It's a lot easier than any of the others because um, a lot of the time you're putting matches with bots, especially at the start. So at the start, um, it's quite easy to win. It makes you feel quite good when you win. So I'd say start, if you haven't played Fortnite before, I'd say definitely start with Fortnite. Don't worry about the building bullshit. I don't. Um, Warzone is great, but it's very hectic, very fast, and people like play so much of it now that um, it's very easy to just fly and get completely murdered without even realizing what's going on. I love me a bit of PUBG. It's complicated to control and it has... Look, graphically it's not super great, but I just like the pacing of PUBG matches. Um, hiya Sammy, did you know that if you find all of the letters of the word bonus You'll be magically transported to secret cave full of bonuses. I didn't, sexy cave lady, but thanks for telling me. Ha! Huh. What? He did a he did a panting thing a minute ago. Is that just when he stops running? Can I go in here? It's a nice animation on this as well. The interplay games all seem to be like incredibly well, like animated, pixel art style. You can run fast as well. And all fours and just leg it. Can't run for very far though because there's often obstacles. Oh, look, I made some axes to help you catch that spotted mountain lion. Sweet. Okay, give me an axe then. Oh, he's giving me an axe. Nice. So now I've got some. This seems like a pretty decent platformer. In another one I missed. Probably. I think this feels like it's a Mega Drive game. And I didn't play as many Mega Drive games as I did SNES games. It seems pretty decent. It would be low down on the list of the ones I make my way through on these carts. But eh, it's alright. It's not bad. So, uh, hey, good morning, Ranji to V. Hope you're well. It's quite late here, so I'm just about to finish. But, um,. I have had a lovely time doing some Evercade carts for you and taking a trip down memory lane. Big fan of the uh, nostalgia buzz I got from uh, Clay Fighter. I might have to go back and play that again uh, in a minute. These are both really decent carts. It's got They've got some games I'll hardly ever touch. They've got some games that I really want to go back in and play and they've got some games I never played before and I really want to discover like uh, rad gravity I want to I definitely want to give rad, rad gravity a bit of a go and I definitely want to play through booger man as well um, yeah decent they're both uh, both you can get them both on Amazon that's where I got them from and they are carts number four and seven there's a few more evercade carts for me to get I will hopefully uh, bring you some more evercade when I get them so um, yeah there, 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 stay tuned to Platform 32 if you like Evercade stuff I'll do some more carts soon once I get them in my sweaty paws um, Ranjit V says what's the highlight what's been your highlight either Clay Fighter Nostalgia or I'd say either Clay Fighter Nostalgia the Booger Man because it was just very Ian sense of humour or the end of level cows on Earthworm Jim 2. They were pretty damn fantastic, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for coming along to watch uh, this Evercade stream. I will be back. I just turned my monitor off. No. I will be back tomorrow with Community Console PUBG, I believe. Uh, we will be doing. All kinds of crazy bullshit 
and drunk, drunken antics uh, over on that channel. I'm just sorry. I'm just having a fiddle. Let's see if I have any control over my webcam. I was looking really kind of grey and I've just turned my webcam program on and it's kind of sorted out the white balance a bit maybe. I don't know. Cool. I'll just white balance a bit. Yeah, it's giving me a bit more colour. I looked like, like I was turning into um, a hollow from Dark Souls again. I need to sort out these cameras so that the lighting stays the same ever. But anyway, yes, thank you very much, everybody, for watching this stream. hope you did enjoy it, and I hope I'll see you all tomorrow for PUBG. Whether you're playing or just watching, it's always a good laugh, um, even though I can never remember it the morning after. Uh, this has been the Evercade stream of the Interplay Collection 1 and 2. If you liked what you saw and you want to see some more Interplay, uh, some more Evercade cards being played, check out my previous streams on the channel. I've done a bunch more streams of Evercade that you can watch. I'll be back tomorrow on Eurogamer, actually, streaming from, I think, 3.30pm till 5. We may start earlier, I'm not sure yet. But uh, we're going to be playing Bowser's Fury. Aoife and I are going to be playing co-op Bowser's Fury, which is coming out tomorrow. I'm excited about that. And then from about 6 or 6.15 or around about then, I'll be kicking off PUBG Console Customs. and playing with you lot and sausages. So have a great evening. Thank you very much to the mods for keeping us all safe. Big thanks to everyone who super chatted and just watched and subscribed and all that stuff. Shout outs to everyone watching on Twitch as well. All 15 of you. Thanks again for um, supporting the channel over on Twitch. Very close to a thousand followers now. So thanks for that. And I will see you all very soon here on Level 30. Bye.